best new products of 2024. As a matter of fact, 24 of them are in front of me right now. I know that you're probably seeing this video crop up all over the place. Jen Phelps is the one that actually inspired it that I saw very first, so I'm gonna give her credit. For me, most of these are new products, but some of them are just new to me products that have really impressed me. So hopefully that's something that interests you. Before we get started, I always do show you what I have on for an outfit because I get asked every single time. So I give you a glimpse into that and I make sure that I link what I have on with the jewelry, the fingernails, all of the makeup, if I don't talk about it on camera today, will be listed and linked below along with all of this makeup organization. I get asked in every single video about all of this makeup organization behind me, so I will make sure that I link that as well. And if you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome in. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you take a second and you subscribe. And if everybody wouldn't mind just hitting that like bell, it does help me so much. And I appreciate it more than you know and my regular viewers thank you for being here with me as always all right big deep breath and here we go into the products let's talk a little bit of skincare this one is a new to me product i believe this came out last year i'm not 100 percent sure if it came out before that but one of you talked to me about this and i have been raving about the dermatology hpr eye cream and how it's been getting rid of the crepiness that's across my eyelids the stuff that just gets crinkly and you can't wear eyeshadow because it just looks terrible well that has been smoothing it out but one of you told me that this from beauty of Joseon, which is the revive eye serum ginseng and retinol that this is a dupe for it i don't know as far as ingredients if it's really a dupe for it because the hbr does have a few extra ingredients in it but as far as being effective I feel like this is doing a very, very good job, very close to the HPR eye cream. I use the HPR eye cream in the morning and then I will use this at night. And this is a really nice cream. You only need a half of a squirt. That was a whole squirt. You only need a half of it. And it's gel-like. It just sinks in so easily. It's very thin formula. So that area around the eyes, sometimes it doesn't want to take in. The products that we use around there, if they're very heavy, it just wants to sit on top. But this is very thin and it sinks in and it's just lovely. I've been testing it now for probably about four or five weeks and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I do feel like it's giving me benefits as far as helping with the crepiness. Now, I know I'm going to get somebody ask me about dark circles. I have inherited dark circles, so those dark circles circles are not going anywhere. However, if dark circles are something that plagues you, this claims that it will help those. But other than that, I've been loving how my eyes look, how plumped up they look, and it does seem to continue to benefit my eyes and the crow's feet and everything that's all the way around the whole eye area. This is a K-Beauty brand sunscreen. This is from Hamish and it's the Artless Glow Base. It's an SPS of 50 plus. I am so impressed with this. First of all, I love the consistency of it. It's a gel-like formula that just sinks in, but it's nourishing at the same time. So it's hydrating, it's sinking in, it doesn't interfere with any primer or any foundation that I put on it. It just really is a nice light feeling very nourishing, hydrating sunscreen that I can say, yes, I love this. And again, this is one that you guys told me about. I don't know if this is new or not. I actually don't think it is. However, being new to me, it is really a great one and I'm loving how it plays underneath makeup. I did recently tell you that I found the Cetaphil Healthy Glow Day Cream. This has peptides in it. It is a sunscreen, but it has peptides and it's very nourishing and very creamy. And I am absolutely in love with this. So this skips my last two steps as I'm doing my makeup. So I don't have to put extra sunscreen on because this is an SPF of 30. A lot of people like 50. So you might want to put a different one on, but I find that I use this and I use it for my sunscreen, my moisturizer and my primer. And wow, it just is so nice to be able to skip all those steps, but at the same time, get all of the benefits. Now, this does not have any dimethicone or any silicones or anything like that in it, I don't believe. This just performs so well underneath makeup 
and really hydrates. The peptides in it over time are going to help you with wrinkles and elasticity, which is absolutely fantastic. I really am very impressed with this, and I think that it's one that if you have been looking for a good sunscreen, moisturizer, primer, all in one, this would be a really good one for you to check out. Speaking of primers, CoverGirl came out with three different primers and I picked up one. This is the True Blend Skin Enhancer. This one is the Velvet Blur. And this one is absolutely perfection for helping you get rid of your pores and for helping your makeup stay in place if you have breakthrough. Now in the summertime, I get this oily T-zone, which is insane because normally I'm so dry like the Sahara, but I get this T-zone. So I've been using this and this is extremely blurring. I love that about it. I love that using it, you can feel how that silicone or that dimethicone is going in and it's just going across the pores. It's gonna fill the pore in if you push it in. And then what it's going to do is create a barrier between your makeup or your foundation and your moisturizer. It's very easy to use. It's kind of a medium thickness. So if you're somebody that doesn't like a little bit thicker of a formula on anything that you use, you might not enjoy this as much as I do, but I'm so glad that I picked it up myself because especially during the summer when everything is hot and humid and the makeup tends to melt. Anyway, this is helping keep it in place because it's creating that barrier and everything's not sinking into your face. I don't have many brow products because I'm not a brow product product person. My brows are always the thing on me that I just have trouble with. So I do them, get them done and get them out of the way. It's not something that I enjoy doing in my makeup. I just do it because I know it needs to frame my face. But I've really been enjoying the new 24 hour brow lamination from L'Oreal. And I will show you how small this spoolie is. See how teeny tiny that is? Now that's gonna grab every single hair, but the product in here is the star of the show because it's a lot like the Benefit one. I can't remember what the name of it is right now, but it really does hold those hairs in place. I have a few over here that stick straight down, and so being able to brush them up and hold them up all day is just one of those things I'm like, yay. At least I don't look weird halfway through the day where everything is sticking down. And it is like glue. So if you're somebody that doesn't like that feeling, then you might not like this as much as I do, but I do like my brows to be in place. I like that to be there when I'm taking off my makeup at night and I feel like it's still there. So it's one of those ones that I definitely can give my thumbs up and stamp of approval on. Now, next is a couple of mascaras. And the first one I wanna tell you about is from Rare Beauty. And this is not a mascara that's new by any means, but it's new to me. And again, somebody told me about this. One of you told me about this and I'm so glad you did. I always get the trial size when I'm trying a new mascara. But what I love about this, I think more than anything, is that it separates my lashes so well. I have quite long lashes, but I don't have very thick lashes. So I need each lash to be able to show up. And that's what this does. And that spoolie on there is a natural bristle, not silicone, which I am more and more coming to appreciate each day. But it really does just separate. And look at the length on those. It's just amazing how long those are. And if you touch it even more, this is one coat, by the way, this isn't two coats. And I just got a goober right there. Come on, Cooper. Goopy Cooper. So I love the length it gives, but I really love the volume it gives. And after I curl my lashes, like it's been probably two hours since I curled my lashes and it's holding them up just fine. So I have it on this eye today. And oh, by the way, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, and I'm taking it off at night with my balm when I take my makeup off. So I'm really enjoying that one very much. And then from One Size Beauty is the Fantasize Mascara. And I have that one on this eye right here. It's just very interesting how well all of these do with one coat. And I think that's why I'm liking them so much is that at one coat, you are able to get length and volume and quite a bit of hold for a curl. This is a silicone brush, and even though I am leaning towards the natural bristle brush lately, this one seems to do the job really well. I think it just depends on where those tines are, whether the silicone works well or whether the natural bristle works well. This one works really good. I don't have to wipe off like you do so many of mascaras these days. And I just, I'm really enjoying both of them so much. And if I had to choose between the two, I probably really would choose the Rare Beauty, although they look pretty 
pretty darn close to the same. They're really very, very good mascaras, both of them. Today for foundation, I have on from Fenty Beauty. This is the brand new one. This is the Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Long Wearing Foundation. That's a mouthful. But I really have enjoyed this because it isn't a heavy foundation at all. I also like it because I have very dry skin, as most of you know, and lots of times if I get too mad of a foundation, it's going to, during the day, just look terrible. Now, I would say that if you're oily skin, you might not like this because this is one of those ones that looks dewy. It looks natural. It has like a light medium coverage, and then you can build it up a little bit. It's not super buildable, just so you know that, but I do like the finish on it because it still lets my skin look like skin without looking like makeup too much. I do have to set this down with a little bit of powder just so you know that is one drawback for a lot of people if a foundation does have to be set down. They don't like powder so they you know skip over it. That's another thing I want to tell you. No fragrance. The wear time on it I get about 10 hours. I start to get some break apart and notice that. I do get break apart if it's super hot period. That is my skin. There is nothing I can do about it. People that tell me, uh, you know, I never get any break apart. It never, you know, breaks up on me. I'm like, what the crap is wrong with me? But I find that it is just a fact of life that sometimes there are places that are more oily than others, even if you do have very dry skin like I do. So I love this one. I think it's a really great one. For dry mature skin, this has worked really well for me. So that's my take on that foundation. And then the new e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I will tell you that they seem like they're really close to each other. They have the same properties as each other as being like a light medium the soft glam probably has like more of a medium coverage than a light medium so a little bit more coverage than the fenty but it also has that soft satin finish to it which isn't quite as dewy as the fenty but the feel of it the consistency of it is pretty much the same. It's got about the same thickness and I find that it doesn't show up any texture on me. I know a lot of people have said that they have had issues with texture and they just couldn't get it to work. And then a lot of people have said that it clings to their dry patches. I haven't had any of that happen to me. So as far as my experience goes, this one from e.l.f. has been just as nice as the Fenty Beauty. I do feel like if I was going to wear something every single day and just reach for it really quickly, it probably would be the e.l.f. because it's a little bit less glowy and a little bit less dewy. But in all reality, they're both beautiful foundations and I think feel like they deserve a spot in this lineup, both of them. Earlier this year, and this might've come out at the end of last year, I'm not sure, but Sephora came out with quite a few new products from the Sephora collection line. And this one is the contour stick. And let's see if I can figure out what this is. Fair to light, which is surprising when you see it, you'll know what I mean. So fair to light right there. And it's quite dark. It is a true contour stick in that it has very little warmth to it. Very little warmth. So what I did is I just put it up in my hairline today and then I contoured my neck out and you know went down the neck a little bit to contour a little bit but it's really pretty very creamy very easy to work with it's going to be one that you can build up as well it is a cream but it's not so emollient that it's going to just disappear really quickly i really have been enjoying this one especially for the ease of use if you want to you can just you know swipe it on your skin and then buff it out with a brush what i usually do is pick it up on a brush tap it on my hand and then go in because i don't want to get too much with my very fair skin but it would be very easy to just you know swipe it across the skin and blend it because it's super creamy and really been enjoying that one so what i also did today for purposes of the demonstration here was used the morphe 2 this is a new bronzer stick it's called sun and done smooth gliding bronzer stick and i have mine in sand beach so after i went in with the contour i went in with this on top of it not really on top of it but just down below it I like this so much because look how well they go together. So this one right here is the Morphe one. And you can see that it's a lot more warming, but it doesn't have that super orange cast. It's almost more along the lines of being just a little bit more pink. So mixing them together and working with them on top of each other was actually perfect because you got the contour part of it, which leans cool. And then you got the warmth of the bronzer, which just worked so well together. It just really bronzed up and really looked very pretty together. But either one of them that you wanted to work with, if you just wanted contour, 
contour this is your buddy from sephora and if you wanted the warmth of a bronzer this is a really really nice one that's very very easy to work with and very blendable one of the tools that i have gotten this year and i know that this probably isn't a new one either but this is a fan brush from nyx and when I first got it, I thought, you know, that's kind of pricey for a drugstore, but this thing is worth every penny. I love how dense it is. I love that it's a little bit more compact this way, but I love that it's a fan brush. Fan brushes are so easy for me to be able to go up in my hairline because my hairline is so high that I always want to put a little bit of contour or bronzer up in there to hide that area a little bit. And this is perfect for that. It's also perfect to carve out your cheeks if you want to, spread blush across if you want to, and it's perfect for the jawline. So this has been a really great brush, really invaluable to me, super soft, a little bit more dense, but a really great brush for me, and I've been enjoying, enjoying every second of having it. Now, one thing that came out from Catrice that I am really liking is the Catrice Magic Shaper. This is the Face Cream Palette. I love Catrice products anyway. I think they do a great job. They do have a plastic divider right here. I don't know how long that will last exactly, but this is a really good palette and if you have been thinking about the makeup forever new palette that they have with the colors and then the contour and all that in there you might think about just trying something like this first because this is almost exactly like it except for a fraction of the cost so you have a balm right here that is pretty much just a highlighter which i like it to be a balm it doesn't have any glitter in it none of these have any glitter chunks in it or anything like that and then you have the colors right here this one right here is a great contour color and then this is a halfway bronze color which is beautiful and then you just kind of get another color over here that you could use for a color corrector if you have dark circles like i do it's kind of on the peachy side got a little bit of yellow in it that's perfect for what we need to counteract purples and blues underneath our eyes and then you get the two blushes right here so you get a coral blush and then you get a pink blush and they are just so pretty they're so so beautiful and i really have been enjoying this whole entire box and actually what i've been doing with the contour and the bronzer is kind of mixing them together a little bit and then going in and just buffing it onto your face and the two colors together like the other two sticks that i just showed you they're working really well together and it ends up being really beautiful bronzer color nice formula extremely creamy if you're somebody that's really into cream products you're gonna love this because it has a very light feel to it but it's very buildable if you're somebody that doesn't like cream products this one is probably a definite skip over because it stays glowy but really nice to work with for me and my dry skin and have been loving that little palette next i want to say thank you to lawless for sending me their whole line up of their brand new blush cream blush formula this is a cream to powder formula and i'm telling you these could not be more luxe and more beautiful and what happens when you put them on is they just turn into this gorgeous color and then they just set down to this powder and they are there all day they're beautiful so this one is called cherry pie and i will see if i can just swatch every single one of them for you that is cherry pie right there the next one is called rosebud kind of a mauve -y color your typical mauve beautiful color on that one these actually feel very light too they almost feel greasy which is interesting because they do set down to that powder and they do have a lot of pigment to them and sometimes when products feel a little bit like they're too emollient they don't have enough pigment but these have a lot of pigment this one is called gumdrop this is actually what i have on my cheeks today on top of that bronzer so this one is called gumdrop it is a true blue pink right there the next one is called Valentine. I haven't even dipped into this one yet. I've been trying them, but I haven't been trying every single one of them. This one is a hot pink color. They do have all of their lippy products that coincide with these and match these and you can get you know really beautiful kind of monochromatic look if you wanted. This one is called Angel. This one is your typical uh, your cheeks but better type thing blush no blush type thing so pretty but it definitely is one that is more of a natural color on that one 
so right there the next one or the last one is called starburst and starburst is your true peach color it's almost a bright coral color so there are all of them right there i'm telling you if you've been looking for your next best blush option this is probably it this is beautiful it's one that i can highly recommend and highly endorse because i feel like they're really good for mature skin because of how they set down with that cream to powder formula next up from nyx you knew these had to be in here it's the new butter melt blush and they're so pretty these are highly pigmented though and the other thing i want to tell you is that i did not find my color in the bronzer i love the formula of these they are powder formula and they're very creamy very pigmented a tiny tiny bit goes a long way i don't know if you would ever get through a pan because of how pigmented these are however when i went to look for at the bronzers there was not one color that i could wear that wasn't super duper orange so i kind of skipped over those but the blushes i fell in love with first one is called for the butter and yeah i'm gonna be doing my little accent there each time so for the butter or for the butter and this one is called butter together and it is a light pink so you have the bright pink and then you have the light baby pink or the light true pink just so beautiful i absolutely love those and these like i said these would last you forever and if you enjoy having a powder blush and over a cream blush or even having both together this is going to be a beautiful one for you as a matter of fact just let me show you very quickly i'll just take that brush i just used for bronzer and i'm going to just very easily just wash into there swash swipe into there and you can see that that blush that's the one that is the that one is called for the butter and you can see that whoa baby it has so much pigment so lots of pigment in those but they're really really good and i think you'll really love them next up is from kosas they released their blush and i think that a lot of people were a little bit disappointed in this because even though this is a baked blush that's swirled in the pan I think that people were a little disappointed because it didn't have any luminosity to it. This is just a matte blush, but wow, this is so pretty and it's so easy to work with because the formula isn't super pigmented. Sometimes when you get one like the one from NYX, you get too much on and then it's hard to take it off, hard to blend it away a little bit. If you do go in heavy handed, this one, I don't feel like you could do that. You really just are going to be able to blush it up however much you need to or however much you want to beautiful color this one is a very natural peachy pink color and it is called euphoria and i just think that these are gorgeous this is the only one i got but boy is it gorgeous and you know now that i'm looking at it i'm really thinking that it's more along the lines of a rose it really doesn't have much peach in it at all so very very pretty and very easy to work with as well also rare beauty came out with their blush luminous blushes or luminizer blushes i don't know which they call them but i used these in a tutorial earlier this month as well these are gorgeous i have mine in hope and in cheer so i will show you hope first hope is a very peachy color i think anyway what i like about these is that you can wear them as toppers if you want to or you can wear them just as blushes if you like that really luminous look to your blush. They're very pretty and they catch the light so nice. Both of these colors are pretty light and I was thinking maybe I would go and get a little bit darker of one because I really do like it. Let me just really quickly show you how I've been using it. I'll just take this one that is the peachy one that is called Cheer and I'm gonna make sure I tap that off because there's a lot on there. And I just have been using it to just go across the high points just a little bit on my cheeks. So really pretty and great quality. Rare Beauty has fantastic quality. And I really like these as an accent to any blush that you might have. While I've got it, I will hold this brush up because I get asked about this brush all the time. I discovered this one this year as well. This is from Tarte. It's a dual ended brush and it is super soft and very very flexible i love doing my powders my blush my bronzer my highlighter i love doing just about everything with this except for foundation and concealer it's just one of those all-purpose brushes now hourglass has one that's almost identical to it except for this one is a little bit longer on the bristles just a little bit and a little bit fluffier and i do think that i appreciate that a little bit more when you're wanting to keep your makeup very light and very natural 
anyway i wanted to make sure i put that in this lineup too because i get asked in every video when i'm using it what i'm using for this particular brush and this is it it's from tarte and i'll make sure that i link it for you next up is a powder that i recently put in a video as a dupe for the one size powder that is the pink one and this is revolution beauty or makeup revolution this is the rose baking powder i don't bake i never do anything like that what i do is i use a puff like this one um, that is from the beauty blender you can use the one from real techniques use the ones from amazon that are super cheap and if you want me to i can link a couple of those for you but this powder is a beautiful powder and i showed it before how brightening and how pretty it is and i think that that is the best part of using a pink powder is that they are just super brightening and i love that about them using them with a powder puff helps to pick up any excess product you might have if you have too much concealer on or you know too much foundation around your nose but you're also pressing the product into your skin this is so pretty about how lighting it is as far as the light that it brings to your face or the light that it brings to the area you use it on that's why i like using it underneath my eyes now is it drying it's a setting powder what can i say anytime we use a setting powder or any sort of a powder they're going to be drying on our face the problem is is when we don't use powder underneath our eyes not only do we risk our concealer setting but we also have that glowy look around us and we kind of look like a grease ball and the other thing that i have found recently is if i'm not pushing a powder into my pores then my pores are going to look bigger and i'm still going to look like a grease ball so i've been appreciating powder more and more even though i swore off of it for such a long time because i am a mature woman with dry skin but recently have really been enjoying this one because of how brightening it is and i love that pink color maybelline came out with new lip liners this is their lifter liner like their lifter glosses which i'm really excited about these aren't mechanical by the way these are definitely you have to sharpen yourself so that's one drawback to them let me just see if i can figure out the colors as we go through right here this one right here is called fine line and i like these very much as far as their consistency i will tell you that this is not a dryer formula it's a very creamy formula if you remember that i've always talked about the sephora rouge gel liners that's what these this is like so these are all gel like this one is called peaking and that first one is kind of a definite mauve color this one is a deepened mauve color right there that one is peaking again. The last one I have, I have no idea what it's called because the darn thing is so hard to see. So you can see the difference in all of them right here. I am wearing this one right here, which is the rose colored one. And then I filled in with some lip gloss that I'm gonna show you in just a second. So these are very nice, but again, keep in mind that these are extremely emollient. They're not like a regular lip liner. They are more like a lipstick formula not a super slippery lipstick but definitely a lipstick formula so very easy to fill in if you want to with that the next one is one that i got recently as well and this is from elf and elf started to think of our lips need sunscreen which i'm so glad about that this is the sun boss gloss broad spectrum spf of 25 so that's what you're getting these are kind of an opaque gloss they're not really a sheer gloss at all these i'm gonna have a heck of a time telling you too so i'm gonna throw up on the screen as we go along here what these colors are and you can tell right here for me putting this one on it is a little bit see-through but not much they're pretty much opaque they're very pretty so this one is a darker one that is almost like you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of clinique's black honey that's what that one reminds me of very pretty and the last one is kind of a pinky nude color which i love so pretty i'm actually going to put a little bit more of that on that's the color that i have on right now the formula is just a medium consistency formula it's not too thick it's definitely not sticky at all but they wear away like a normal gloss would so it's not going to be like you have it there all day it's not going to stain your lips it's going to wear away as you talk as you eat you know if you're eating and drinking obviously they're going to go away and you're going to have to reapply and they did put that spf in there to protect our lips you know some people when they're out in the sun they get really bad um not canker sores what am i thinking um cold sores there it came i knew it was going <laughs> to pop out of my head eventually so that helps if you get those and because of you know sun damage or anything like that that helps a lot and then also ColourPop just recently came out with their so juicy lip oil gloss slash balm things these are 
so nice. These are really, really nice. Now they do have clearer formulas and they do have more opaque formulas. And I do have all of them, but these are the four that I chose to keep. The other ones I'm gonna share with someone. This one right here is called Trending Now. And in the jar here, it looks like a pink. Here's the drawback to the ColourPop ones. When you pull this out, it's hard to pull out and you get a little bit of droplets. I don't know why they did that, but it's a little bit tough to pull out. So a little bit of color in there, not a ton. And the other thing about them is they do have this minty flavor to them or this minty smell to them. No flavor, just the minty smell. And then you have this one right here that's called It's a Date. That one is kind of a nude color. And a lot of these, they're not really got a lot of color in them, but I love the consistency of these as well, kind of that medium consistency. This one is called Flirty Text, and this one is just a clear with a little, it has like red in the jar, but it's not red at all, it's just clear. I've been wearing that one at night and really been loving the feel on my lips for the evening or through the night. And then the last one is called Baby Panda, which is really cute. It's kind of a pinky color. That is one drawback to these. They're gonna have to redo these as far as the way that those pull out. Because when you pull that out, that product comes out and it kind of strings out a little bit. That is one thing about them, but the product inside is fantastic. And I love the cooling effect on your lips. It's got a little bit of that plumping feel without being too much. Like some of them can just be stinging. This is just a plumping, cooling feel to them. Then from e.l.f. we have the Jelly Pop Glow Stick. I did just put this in a video as well. This is a beautiful highlighter. This is just glow. It's like a balm product. It doesn't give you any glitter. It doesn't give you any chunkiness. It just gives you a little bit of highlighter, like a wet, dewy look to it. And I, I think this is an outstanding product as far as if you want something that just looks like you just kind of got out of the spa and now I, you know, I really have this glowing, beautiful complexion. That's what this looks like. It's just really pretty. It does have a little bit of a fragrance, almost like a, a watermelon fragrance. That might be what I put on my lips. Nope, it's not what I put on my lips. It's this. <laughs> It's definitely this. Okay, so it does have a little bit of fragrance, but it does give that wet shine look to your face. So pretty. And then lastly, for the 24th product, I chose the NYX Butter Gloss Blings. These are so beautiful. And as soon as they came out, I was like, I love NYX Butter Gloss because I absolutely love the consistency of them. They're not too thin, they're not too thick. They're just pretty. Some of them have a little bit more color than other ones, but some of them are just a really nice nourishing healing gloss. And so as soon as these came out, I grabbed four. So here we go. This one looks very gold in the tube. This is called Bring on the Bling, and it has that color that I like where it's like got a little bit of gold in it that just sets off any pink and just gives it that shimmer. Really love that one, that one I've been using nonstop. And then the next one I have is called Dripped Out. This is kind of a peachy color, pinky peachy color, which I like as well. Next one is called Shimmer Down. And I never thought that I'd like something like this, but I really do like this color. It's almost like a hot orange color in the tube right here. But when you get it on your lips, it doesn't look like that. It just looks like a really pretty gloss. And the last one right here is called Big Spender and it looks kind of plum in the tube. And then right here, let's see where, <laughs> let's do it right there. So there are the colors right there and that's the four that I have. I really like this gloss so very much. I think it's one of those ones that when you get it on, the colors are intimidating at all. They feel very hydrating, very nourishing. It has enough of a color that for summer, you can just do a one and done if you want to. And the gloss formula feels just like the original. They're gonna be there, but they're not gonna hang around through eating, unfortunately. I wish we had a gloss that did, but we don't. So we settle for something like this, which is the next best thing. These are beautiful. They have that sparkle in them, but no, the glitter, you can't feel grit or anything in there, but they do have a bit of sparkle in them, which I actually like, especially when you're doing a softer look on your eyes and you're doing a softer summer look. They just look really pretty on the lips. All right, 
that is 24 products i'm so excited about all these because it's so much fun to find new makeup and it's fun to find new to you makeup that might have been out for a long time so i'm really enjoying all of that i hope that you did enjoy it too is there something that came out that i don't have in here that you've seen somewhere else or you grabbed from somewhere else that you think you are just in love with and i might be in love with too let me know that down in the comments section if it seems like i was in a hurry today it is because my camera is acting up and it's overheating like crazy don't know if that's the heat outside or if the darn thing is going bad on me so i was hurrying a little bit in this video also the fact that i did 24 products and it takes a little bit longer either way we got through it i hope that you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here don't forget to subscribe if you're not already i love you guys so very much and i hope you come back around in my very next video take care bye bye friends